The initial singularity is essentially the egg of the universe. It contained information on all the energy and space-time on what would later become the universe. However, it was a point with absolutely zero size. So how in the world could this singularity store so much information? Well, singularities are actually not that small, in terms of space-time. They only appear small because their space-time has been compressed infinitely. This is the reason why black hole singularities can have different densities, depending on the size of the star that collapsed into it. For example, a star with a volume of 3 e plus 25 cubic kilometers, which is typical for a star that will collapse into a black hole, would have a resulting black hole that has all the space-time from those 3 e plus 25 cubic kilometers compressed into a point. But how will the matter in the star still function normally if all of them are in the same exact place? Well, they do not really function normally. All laws of physics break down once close enough to a singularity. However, the particles trapped inside will not lose their information. Instead, they will probably be frozen in place, fused together with all the other particles. Because the laws of physics do not apply inside of singularities, all of the space-time and matter is preserved, instead of just being fused into a ball. The particles do not have their own coordinates, or take up any of their own space, but everything still somehow manages to work out. This is how the initial singularity could hold the entire universe's information perfectly. So in summary, the initial singularity contains all of the energy and space-time that the universe will have. All of this is squished into a single point. But the laws of physics don't work, so space-time and energy is not affected, but preserved in time. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and see you next time. Bye.